I'm just about ready to get to bed here on my uh, camp out here on the INM. And something I want to talk about here is uh, I had the uh, my thermometer here hanging before I got in the tent. You know, I was doing all my chores, had my fire and made dinner and all that good stuff. And it was basically matched the temperature outside. So it was 35 degrees outside and it's 35 degrees inside the tent here. So I got in the tent, set up my sleeping bag, set up my sleep system, and I wanted to see what would happen with the um, with me being in the tent and the temperature change. So what's happened is we're now at uh, we're now at 40. Let me see here. We're at 49 degrees, and it's 35 outside. So I've, I me being in the tent has raised the uh, temperature uh, 15 degrees. Um, I'm wearing a uh, I'm wearing a, a hat. A, a uh, acrylic hat on my head to keep my head warm. I'm wearing my um, my wool uh, wool polyester um, uh, top and bottom thermal underwear, and I'm wearing a uh, synthetic T-shirt to give you an idea in terms of what I'm wearing. And in the tent itself, I'm kind of using a reduced version of the system I normally use for winter camping. I have one tent blanket uh, down here uh, covering the bottom of the tent. And then I've got my blue mat, and then on top of that, I've got my thermal rest, and then I'm using my sleeping bag with a liner inside of it. This is a new sleeping bag I've, I've picked up here. This is a uh, uh, Kelty Duelist. I'm actually going to try using a uh, a blended uh, sleeping bag with uh, uh, with down as well as uh, synthetic fibers. We'll see how that works out for me. I've used it once before. It seemed to be pretty warm. It's worked pretty good. Um, I'm a little nervous about down, though I'm trying a couple down items on this, uh, this outing here. Tomorrow morning, I have here a, I'm going to see it here in the video, this is a packable down jacket. So the idea is I'll wear my, uh, my regular uh, jacket on top, and then I'll wear this underneath as a warming layer, and then my thermals next to my skin. The idea, hopefully, this is uh, compresses really, really well, so I can use that to uh, take care of staying warm in, in the uh, in the mornings and in the uh, the evenings during the uh, the shoulder seasons. So anyway, just to get you an idea, so it's 15 degrees temperature increase with me being inside the tent. Um, that's quite a bit. I'm really kind of kind of happy about that. I will see. I'll do an experiment over the winter and see when I run my candle lanterns if how much temperature increase they give to the tent so I can judge whether the risk of having them burning is worth it. Um, but I'm pretty amazed. This is 15 degree temperature increase. Actually, it's uh, it's actually 16 degrees temperature increase now. It's actually 50 degrees inside the tent with me being inside of it. So that's pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy with that. I will uh, let you guys know how things go in the morning. We'll try that down jacket out. We'll see how that works in the morning. It's a little chilly in the morning. It's going to be like supposed to get at 27 uh, overnight. So, um, so I'm kind of this is kind of my shoulder season system. I'm using my winter, my regular winter tent, and then I'm using this Duelist sleeping bag. So it's a little heavier than my 40 degree bag, but not as big as my gigantic zero degree bag. So it's kind of an in between bag. Um, and I'm still using I'm using a single tent blanket as opposed to two tent blankets, and it still feels pretty warm. And uh, we'll see how this works out for me. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning, and uh, see you on the trail. Bye bye.